Hi everyone, today we'll talk about one shots in the PLC. And a one shot in the PLC will turn an output on for one scan. This is used to trigger events that should only happen once. And if we look at our, our Do More Designer uh, software, along with our simulator running here, what we'll do is first we'll look at if we don't have a one shot in the program. So here I have contact X7, which is right here. And if I turn it on, I just want to increment um, uh, D6, which is just an internal memory location. So if I turn it on, I expect that to increment by one, and I see one. But as you see, as soon as I increment, it actually starts really piling up the numbers. And this is because it's actually incrementing every scan of the PLC. And if we want to know exactly what that scan time is, we could actually just look on here the system info. And on here, we're right now, our minimum is 7 microseconds. Our average is about 64, 59 microseconds. So that's pretty quick. And what you'll see is all, all we've done is we actually created a scan counter when I turn on that input bit. So what we need to do is actually trigger um, a one shot which basically only fires off once per scan so that we can actually see this increment and we can do this several different methods um, here I have some bit logic so this will work on any PLC that you're using and my input signal here is zero and it goes through um, a leading uh, edge work bit and sets the output this one shot output then what I do is, if that's on, it actually latches this C1 on, so this will not fire again until everything gets reset by the same input signal. And finally, I look down here, and I actually use the same logic on my one shot to actually increment that counter. So I should actually see that only going to a value of 1 every time I fire it. So let's take a look, and what we'll do is turn that on. So right now it's already fired. If I look at my data here, there's one there. If I turn it off, it goes off. Hit it again. Two. So I basically use a latch in order to fire that output. Now, that's on the leading edge. We can also do it on the trailing edge. And on the trailing edge, it looks a little different. And what we do is, again, we have this output latch. But in this time here, it's just the opposite. So we're looking for when it turns off. So let's turn that on. And you can see here that nothing's happened on that output yet until I actually deactivate it. Then I have C3 still on because it's latched in here. And then it will fire this C2 for one scan. And when that one scan hits, instead of being two, it'll actually go back to, it'll go to three, which it does. Now the do more provides a couple of different alternatives to doing one shots instead of writing this little bit of code each time. And the first one is it actually will lead, use a leading edge or trailing edge a differential contact. So here we have a, a leading edge and all we do is just put that as a contact into the input. So that's our next one. So we can see that go increment one, two, okay. And or else we can do the trailing edge on the same contact. And the trailing edge here, again, when it goes off, it'll actually activate. So it goes off, it activates, and now we can see three. The other method is using a power flow modifier. Um, we can either leading edge or, or trailing edge. And what that will allow you to do is write a series of contacts here. And then control them by using either the... Uh, leading edge or the negative edge in order to fire that output. And what we can do is um, we'll fire that off now and you will see if I fire two it's on the leading edge trailing edge. So again all that will do is um, uh, fire that so you can see it here. So again, three, and then trailing edge, we'll see it right there, and trailing edge on five. 
All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, visit our website at www.accautomation.ca.